This is what our carnivore family had for breakfast this morning. We raised Caternix quail for meat and eggs. And let me tell you, do they lay a ton of eggs. They lay as many or more eggs as most high production layer chickens do. So to start, I take these quail scissors and start cracking open about 90 quail eggs. Without quail egg scissors, this would take forever. The shells are weak, but the membrane is extremely strong. So it takes something sharp to break it open. Next, we're gonna pour about a half cup of milk or cream and one teaspoon of salt in our eggs. Beat them up until everything is combined and the eggs are well scrambled. When they're done, let them sit out to warm up to about room temperature. Your eggs should look like this when done. Next, lay out your bacon on a baking sheet, baking it at 375 for about 15 minutes. While that's baking, you're gonna dice up some ham and heat it up in a separate pan from everything else. Now would be a good time to pull the cheese out and grate that as well. When the bacon's done, combine it in that separate pan with your ham. Sprinkle a little water on a preheated stainless steel pan to see if it's ready. If it is, pour your bacon grease in and add a little less than a ladle of egg. The first time around, this is gonna be a little bit of a trial and error thing. It can take a bit of practice before you make that perfect omelet. Make sure you add your meat and your cheese quickly. Your omelet could be done in a matter of seconds. Next, you're gonna fold up the sides. I, of course, butchered this first one, but again, this is practice. And I guarantee you, it doesn't matter what it looks like, it's going to taste amazing. Once again, just a little less than a ladle of egg. Spread it all around. We just want a thin layer all over the bottom of that pan. Add your meat, and don't forget to add your cheese quickly, again. The most common thing you'll see when people are making omelets is they'll fold them right in half. The walls of your common omelet are usually a lot thicker and heavier. They are simply not as savory, light, and fluffy as these trifold omelets. If you're willing to sacrifice the way that the first couple of omelets look, or in other words, break a couple eggs to make an omelet, you will quickly master the classic, and dare I say classier, trifold omelet. It will be well worth your time, and I guarantee you, your taste buds and palate will thank you. These classic, authentic, my take on a French omelet are a huge hit at our table. So now that everything's ready, plates all around with silverware and sour cream, it's time to dish up and everybody gets to dig in. And let me take just a moment to remind all my carnivores out there, it's important to stay hydrated by drinking your electrolytes and plenty of water on a carnivore diet. We also accomplish this by adding a lot of salt to our meals. And on this occasion, I'm gonna add some sour cream to my omelets. Mm, mm, mm. You know, a lot of people say that carnivore can be really boring, or they think it would be anyway. But the truth of the matter is, I think of it more like this. It can be really simple or as exciting as you like. There really are so many different options out there that a lot of people don't think about. We have a variety of recipes to keep things fresh that don't get stale. Follow and subscribe for more. Mmm, that is so, so good and well worth the wait. Thanks for watching.